make another video. I haven't even uploaded the last one yet. I just saved it. But, uh, you know, the new rating with leashes for uh, Panda Land came out. And it's funny because right before then, I decided, hey, I'm going to try some new pets. And I, 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 I erased all my favorites or I, I deleted. Well, I didn't delete my favorites, but I reset my favorites and thought, okay, there's a bunch of new pets I want to try. Or there's a bunch of pets I want to play more that I either used to play with or have never played with. And then the um, Raiding with Leashes pets came out. So there's, for me, there's a lot of new stuff going on. I tweeted just i hate saying that i don't know why um like a, a couple days ago or maybe it was even yesterday oh it was yesterday morning like oh yeah there's like four pets that i'm kind of excited about and i've been playing with a couple of them and it's down to two pets so i was thinking that comet is gonna be interesting and in sort of a almost trollish way uh where you know you can put your celestial or sorry illusionary barrier up and then you can have a free turn to do celestial blessing or you can you know use your illusionary barrier and then you know get hit it with arcane blast to, to ramp up your arcane blast um but it's turned out that the 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 pet is just too slow i mean i've only used it maybe like through through three times but it, it just it was like eh so, oh yeah, uh, okay, two times. Apparently, I, I'm very hasty to judge things, but um, it's it 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 didn't impress. I mean, maybe I'll use it more, using it two times and then giving up. But you see what I mean? Like you can use illusionary barrier, and that uh, you I normally don't like illusionary barrier at all because what a lot of people do is they just like they don't do anything because it's going to benefit them if you break it down while they're waiting. And then sometimes it turns into a, um, like, hey, who can wait the longest? So I think there's a couple flaws in pet battles like that. Like, the illusionary barrier should go away after a little while. Just like games with uh, Sunny Day shouldn't be infinite. You shouldn't be able to, like, have infinite rounds of healing. So, so pet battles are flawed in a couple areas, as we all know. Um... But anyways, I don't know, I'm getting off the point. That was Comet. I'll try it again. But uh, what? that's one of the four. Oh, by the way, Energized Mana Fiend. I need to play with this pet more. That's all. I will. I'll play with it more. Um, what else do we got here? Oh, this is one that I do like. I think I've played it like uh, three times. Oh, wait. Why am I queued with this team right here? Oops, I think I'm... Why am I cute at all? Okay, well, let me let me let me pick a team. Uh, what is it? The core. Okay, there we go. The floaters. I never tried with this one, so I, I just made this. Oh no, I did. I lost. Uh, I I don't know. They were all floating. I thought it was interesting. Um, oh, is that guy standing there? I thought he was like flying in the air. Maybe when maybe when you're battling, he's flying. But anyways, this is one of the pets. The uh, Corthic Swarmling. It's going to be good against... Oh, I meant to change to Impale. It's going to be good against dragons, but against anything but dragons, I think that it's probably better to have Impale there. Uh, and then I have an Enchanted Pen and a Wayward Spirit. So this will be an interesting battle. This is against Rodney Dangerfield. That's what I'm calling this person because I have no respect for them anymore uh, for a couple of reasons. I'll tell you why, but I, I face this team a lot. And I will henceforth refer to it as Rodney Dangerfield. Um, okay, I don't mind that. You can do that, pal. This will be an interesting matchup. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to win it. But I wish I had Impale right now. Um, oh, you're going you're gonna to just do that, are you? All right. Let's go to our Wayward Spirit here. You put your slow on me, and I'm going to get the hell out of Dodge right here. Oh, did you just use your CD? That's unfortunate. Um, let's hit you with this. He's probably going to bring in... Oh, he's not going to bring in the, uh, the Hermit Crab. That would be, I think, the best thing for this person to do right now. 
Maybe not, maybe not. What's 138 times 2? Not enough. 138 times 2 is not enough to kill Womper. Okay, so that's why I used my dodge there. One, 38 times three is enough. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna use your hermit crab? I'm not sure, yeah, let's see. Let's bring this dude back in. Okay, let's uh, stun you here. The problem with saying Rodney Dangerfield is sometimes when I say Rodney Dangerfield, I get the song Rap and Rodney stuck in my head. You don't want that. You don't want the song Rap and Rodney stuck in your head. Trust me. I think I'm just going to hit him with this. I'm obviously saving that for the dragon. So he's going to kill me after next turn. Is that what I want? Well, I mean, of course I don't want to die, but I mean, sh should I swap or... Hmm. Is this going to miss? I don't think that's going to miss. Let's, let's, let's put this... Wait. 411 versus... This is what I'm going to do right now. Let me go ahead and do this. Okay, that's fine with me. So we're going to bring in our magic pet, and then we're going to slow him down with this. This is going to do good damage. One and a two and a three. You're dead, pal. Okay. Well, let's... Do I want to... Yeah, let's not let him proc his Dragonkin Racial just yet. So let me put this Foreboding Curse up, and then maybe he'll kill me. Okay, well that's fine. If you kill me right here, I'm still okay with that. Yeah, because now you're going to proc your racial, but... Seems like all my friends have such big butts. I'm oh, sorry. That was, that was kind of a quote from Pee Wee Herman. You know me in words. I don't... I don't know if I got it right or not. Oh, that was nice. 570 times two well it looks like this team that i just throwed it through together because they were all floating beats rodney dangerfield all right well that's kind of fun that was fun i don't know about you but i had fun doing that um wow i was just like going through the <laughs> list of pets that i was going through the list of pets that i wanted to play with and i was like oh yeah enchanted pin and and then oh sure wayward spirit and they were both floating and i'm like hey a third floater but he's not floating right now i don't know i mean does flying count as floating i kind of don't think it does you know so <sighs> it's a good win though good win um wayward spirit i'm happy with wayward spirit um could go either way here. I just wanted to diversify my attacks, take that Curse of Doom. But this is the pet that I'm, one of the pets that I was excited. These are the two that I was initially excited about and I still am excited about. The, the third one was, or Comet was one of them, and then the other one was Stoneclaw. And, you know, whenever there's a pet with weakness you're like yeah and i thought well i can leap i can get faster and then i can make them weak weak and then i can thrash because i'm faster now 
I only did it once, but it did. It was real clunky. So I think I could work. I, I think I could work something out with Stone Claw. But what what did I what did I try it with? I tried it with. Uh, oh, this team. I tried all all three of them. So yeah, obviously a team with no synergy that I'm just like I'm gonna throw three new pets together and then it didn't work and I'm like yeah Stone Claw sucks man no I didn't say that but apparently I need to play with it some more but okay let's see what's next um Squirky let's let, let's just play with some of these new new pets I even made a new uh, tab it's called New Kids on the Roster. This team, Energized Serial, was fun. Oh, another reason why I have no respect for Rod Rodney Dangerfield. Um, well, okay, here's a couple reasons why. Or let me even back up and tell you why. Initially, I was like, okay, well, they're using Whomper, which is kind of cool that they made such a good team using Whomper. Like, it has good coverage. Um, I respect that. But then I was, like, starting to think about it. I'm like, well, that's like me playing with the armadillo on my um, space doo-doo pistols and being like, yo, you should respect me because I play with the armadillo along with the fiendish imp and warbot. So if you're going to play a hermit crab and a um, twilight clutch sister, I mean, you know, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, let's start off with our energized mana fiend because that hermit crab is going to do weak damage to us. And you can, you can pump up, um, I can pump up my arcane blast here. How high does it go? Up to 365. So I think I might have made the wrong call because for a couple of reasons. Here, here, here's why I made the wrong call. And I, I should back out now. I should just back out because I've actually... Oh, man, I screwed up. I screwed up big time. I need a way to dodge that later. I need a way to dodge that pet later. And I beat this player with, I beat the Hermit Crab with the Dimetrodon Hatchling before. So I know I can do it. Let's see, are you going to dive right now? Okay, you're not going to dive. You're ramping up, I'm ramping up, we're all ramping up. Let's see, I got to predict your dive. Oh, I didn't do it. Okay. Well, let's hit you here with this. And then what I'm going to do, shoot. I really messed up here. You're going to get that up again. 137 isn't going to get the job done. Try to get some health back here. Maybe he swaps out, maybe he doesn't. Okay. Got some health back, that's good. But I should have started with that pet. That's what I was babbling about because against Shufu right now, I'm really going to need, um, I'm really gonna need a way to dodge once he gets his prowl up. And uh, I just don't have it right now. So. Well, let's see. Maybe he's not going to prowl right now. 338. Okay, well, this isn't bad because now I can come in with this guy. I can use my dodge. What is that? 219 times 2 is definitely going to be enough. So we'll do this. And 
And then I think with my surge of power along with um, along with the marionette here, uh, I think that'll be enough to take out Whomper. Do I want to... Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring the marionette in now. And I'll, I'll, I'll take a stun with the marionette. That's fine. Um, I'll get this down. Sure, pal. Deep freeze me. And then I'll be able to come in with... Uh, what just happened? Oh, okay. He's going to deep freeze me now. Uh, okay. So that's fine. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to... Uh, oh, I guess I have to... Uh, what do I have to do? I have to pass here. Let's drop this on him. And then I come in and I Evanescence and then I Surge of Power for the win. What were they trying to do with that guy? What did I just play? All right. Hell, I don't even need an Evanescence. I can just Surge of Power and it's a good game. So the reason I play, uh, like, you know, b b uh, Marionette made it on my... Uh, my top pet list. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be sneaky bastard and I'm gonna go like this. Is that still gonna work? Yeah, 219. So they don't know that I have surge of power. I'm gonna do this. And then they might think I have something else. So, you know what I mean? Like, because I play this player a lot and I want to beat them on a regular basis. <laughs> Did I just not? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was the right thing to do. I wasn't trying to like mess with them there. But I didn't want to use my Surge of Power because maybe we play it again right now. They still don't know what I have in that middle move. Okay, so um, that was a strategic move, not a troll because I could have Amplify Magic. But Energized Mana Fiend, pretty good. Oh, the, what I was babbling about is this. And it also leads me to why they, they what well, i think the third reason i have no respect for them okay well actually the, the 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 first reason i have no respect is because they played that team quite a bit during the uh the the critter week and it's like you know we're a small community we want to get more people into our community not chase them away with op teams so i know it's kind of like i don't know not everybody needs to live by the same standards i live by but i just think that should be something that experienced pet battlers do. Use the Critter Week to, you know, experiment. Have some fun. You know what I mean? Play with... I mean, I, I play with good teams, but I don't play with, like, the best of the best. Unless someone else is doing it like that person. So, um, they played quite a bit with that team. And then, there was this one day where we were having fun. And, and I think they play, they play with a, um, Sisters, a, a Temptation team, too. And we were, like going back and forth playing with fun teams and and then they just like after losing a couple times they ran away and queued right away with their uh rodney dangerfield team so i was like you know what that's weak you know i, I was playing with like teams like this you know like with the stunned yeti and in fact <laughs> i've just been trying to have more fun play with different pets so it could have been a completely different person but when they run away immediately re -queue, I think it's the same person. So maybe I'm being too harsh on him. But yeah. Rodney Dangerfield, no respect for that player. So there we go. Um Young Mutant War Turtle. Let's see uh what teams I have with that. Young Mutant War Turtle. Brain Dance. Mm, I don't really want to play with that team. Uh, may already rock. This is a new team. I don't think I've played this on a video yet. Three and zero. Mutant rain. You always got. You always got to think about the dragon. Now that the Twilight Cr Clutch Sister is the big bad boy. Um, this might be a good team. Oh, wow, interesting. So I went four and two with that team, and I went three and zero with that team. But you know. A, a, a low number of a low number of battles but i think this uh the minutes are starting to pile up so let me let me see i don't know what that means um 
WPEC3. And this is my Horde one. Let's see, we got a Jade Mist. We got that. Maybe it was a. I don't know. But let's. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll go with uh, May Already Rock. Let's do it. I think I named that team uh, this because I was like, I may already have rocked this team before. I do use the Jade Miss Dancer a lot. Um, so I guess my new, I, I don't know really what my new Q is for. I, I mean, I guess I should put Zomstruck and Young Mutant War Turtle in there because I never play them, but it feels weird putting a Jade Miss Dancer in there because I like always play the Jade Miss Dancer. Maybe I shouldn't even be playing it right now, but you know. All right, so why 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 the young the why the interest in the young mutant war turtle because of the twilight clutch sister you know it's got the smoke bomb it can sorry I do that all the time let's go back to uh, here may already rock it's got the smoke bomb which if I use it at the right time it's gonna uh, block the AOE from the twilight clutch sister it's got this jab here. The problem, the big, big problem is how slow it is. So don't know that it's necessarily a good counter to the Twilight Clutch Sister. Um, you got uh, an element, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Undead in the back, which is um, good against Meteor Shock. I don't even know what that move is. I hardly ever use the Twilight Clutch Sister. Here, let me see. Watch all these teams pop up. Okay, I got this many teams. OP Merc for the Jerks. Probably one of the toughest teams to beat. And I think that I was use, uh, somebody was using Merc a lot against me. And so I was like, they were using Merc a lot and Twilight Clutch Sister. I was like, okay. Tasty Trees. Um, some of these I made back before I knew how crazy it was. Like, I don't think... I don't think I, uh, I don't think I knew when I made this team that it was crazy. Maybe the little Viathan I did. Definitely not with the. I mean, I knew it was a powerful pet, but I didn't know it was going to be the big bad guy of the expansion. Um, yeah, that's an interesting team. Toddle that. So you can see I don't have it on a lot of teams. But what was I saying? Twilight Meteorite. There we go. That's the uh, that's the move I was talking about. It can block the Twilight Meteorite, but. I don't think it's going to be good. And, well, it looks like I'm going to have a chance to find out. What do we want to do against this hermit crab? We don't want to use the elemental. Do we want to use zombs? No, because of the infected claw. So I guess I should have thought about this about this whole team that I have to face all the time. Um, it's not just about the Twilight Clutch Sister, it's what am I gonna do against the Hermit Crab right here. So I'm not expecting a win on this one right here. So let's see, we'll go ahead and pump that up. I probably should have done that first. That was a, that was a misplay already by me. Yeah, this isn't good against the, um, the, the, the the war turtle. Definitely not. I'm sorry, against the hermit crab. All right, well, let's, let's hit him with this now when we can. Well, that was weak. That was good for me. I'm thinking I'm going to use it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this now. But now they know what I'm going to do, probably. So they're probably going to attack again because they know that I'm going to pump up. They're like, why would they dodge last time? They would only dodge last time if they're going to pump up this time. And yes, they were right. So now they're going to throw that shell armor up. And it should break through the shell. Well, maybe not. Maybe it won't. 228, and that's going to do what? Uh, oh, okay, so they're not even putting it up. Fine. Oof. 
here's what here's what they just accomplished they managed to so now they can proc that with they can um I'm not going to let them do it. They're thinking they had an easy kill there to, to proc their dragon kin racial. Okay, fine. Five forty nine. Now it's Come on, I need some big hits, Jade Miss Dancer. That was not a big hit, Jade Miss Dancer. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. <sighs> not good enough. 441, he's going to have to hit high. How much is this going to do? 509 which is 255 if it's split evenly plus 25% which is not going to give us 364 so if I don't hit high here it's game over oh I hit high okay game on 509 or the chance at 662 but I have the cleansing rain for me too 637 gonna get stunned and then is, is it gonna be enough to kill me in two turns no now he's stuck with this little punch here but it is gonna kill me next I think he's still one I think he's still one I just had to I didn't have a good way to start against that um, against the hermit crab and so I ended up having to use my um, to use my uh, Twilight Clutch Sister, uh, whatchamacallit, um, ooh, 52 short of the draw, but oh well, you know, back to the drawing board, but yeah, that's, so, kind of blah blah blahing here, um, I wanted to play with the, the, the Young Mutant War Turtle, because it's going to be good against the twilight clutch sister and it's aoe and it's going to do strong damage but it's slow but i made this team here and this team is really horrible against the hermit crab starter uh you know because that player almost like always starts with the hermit crab so i can't play the jade miss dancer against the hermit crab i can't play zomstruck against the hermit crab so essentially i have to play my young mutant war turtle and it died, and, and even worse than that, well, it didn't die. It didn't die to the hermit crab, but it was going, maybe maybe I shouldn't have swapped. Maybe that was a bad move. See, it didn't die, and then it had 20 health left, which meant that the Twilight Clutch Sister was going to be able to come in, proc its Dragon Kin Racial, and then hit me with Meteor Strike. So what I, I tried to be clever and I brought in the Jade Miss Dancer. Ha ha ha, you're not proccing your Dragonkin racial. But I basically gave them a buttload of damage on my Jade Miss Dancer. And it, then it just killed the, uh, the turtle on the next turn with Meteor Strike. So I think that may have been a bad move. I should. So what happens if... What happens if I don't make that swap? It kills. Well, it might dodge. And then it kills the, um, the turtle. Now it's got the dragon kin racial proc. Now it's going to have that meteor strike split between two pets rather than three with the dragon kin racial so that still made it maybe i mean i'm not doing the math in my i mean i'm not doing math right now i'm just kind of thinking about it like rough estimation it still may have been a good move but um yeah womper's not a, womper's not a bad sweeper but again they're still rodney dangerfield as long as they're gonna run that pet that um as long as they're going to run that team during critter week and 
they're going to get all hurt and come back with a with a good team after I beat them with the Dimetrodon Hatchling. They are Rodney Dangerfield. I have no respect for them. So, anyways, beat Rodney two out of three. Not bad. Disco's three. Thanks for watching. Pretty fun time in the queue. All right. See ya.